it will no longer be illegal to light up. Late Saturday night, the state Senate, Assembly and the governor agreed to marijuana legislation. It's expected to go to a vote this week. New York State Senator Liz Krueger is the sponsor of the Senate's bill. I will be celebrating, hopefully having the best bill in this country when it comes to establishing rules for the adult recreational use of marijuana. A major component of this legislation is making sure communities of color disproportionately targeted in marijuana enforcement will reap the benefits. I mean, like young people being slammed against the floor, being beaten up by the police because they're accusing them of having marijuana. Ann Oradeco of the Legal Aid Society describing what it's been like for decades in New York, and that is expected to change. In this legislation, previous marijuana convictions under what's now considered legal will be expunged. Tax revenue will go to education, community grants, and drug treatment and public education funds. 50% of business licenses will go to minorities, women, distressed farmers, and disabled veterans. Medical cannabis access will be increased. Cities, towns, and villages can opt out of retail dispensaries. Personal possession is allowed up to three ounces and 24 grams of concentrate. Adam Gores of Columbia Care, a medical marijuana company, says he's looking forward to guiding cannabis entrepreneurs. We're broadly supportive of a lot of social equity licensing opportunities, meaning a whole heck of a lot of folks are going to be able to get involved in this business, and we think that's a great thing. While decriminalization will take effect immediately, lawmakers say it could take at least 18 months for brick-and-mortar stores to be up and running. And once the legislation is fully implemented, it could be a few years to reach the targeted $350 million a year in tax revenue. So we're stopping the harm as the, the initial laser focus here. Melissa Moore of the Drug Policy Alliance lobbied hard for this legislation. The fact that there's going to actually be restitution that's lockboxed a significant amount of the tax revenue going back to things that are directly responsive to the harms that people have experienced. I, I don't think that can be overstated. Um, it's really just absolutely remarkable. In a statement, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said he looks forward to signing this legislation into law. New Yorkers 21 years and older will be able to buy cannabis and people will be able to grow small amounts of the plant at home. For those who are against the legalization of marijuana here in New York, the state senator who sponsored the legislation says, Cannabis has been here for decades. Now it will be heavily regulated and taxed, and the state will benefit. In New York City, Allison Caden, News Nation.